The episode starts with the first century of the Targaryen dynasty comes to an end. So, in the year 101, the noble leaders of Westeros come together for a big meeting called the Great Council. They need to choose someone to take over after Jihari's eye, who doesn't have any living children. The council picks his grandson, Viserys, instead of his oldest granddaughter, Rhaenys. This choice is mostly because they follow the old rule that says men should lead. The next scene shows the flying dragon and the princess Rhaenyra is riding on it. It seems like the dragon is quite familiar and loved by the princess. After nine years, Viserys organizes a big tournament to celebrate the upcoming birth of a new potential leader. But Queen Ema is sure that this will be their last child, no matter if it's a boy or a girl. She's had a lot of sad times losing babies before, and she can't bear to go through that again. Sadly, the new baby dies shortly after being born, even though Viserys believed it would be a boy and his successor. Unfortunately, he has to choose between saving his wife's life or the life of his new baby during a difficult birth. He chooses the baby and sadly, his wife dies, and the baby doesn't make it either. After that, Viserys has a bunch of meetings with the small council. They are worried about Prince Demon's behavior and choices who is considered the next heir of the throne. They think he wouldn't be a fair ruler if he becomes king. Viserys defends his brother, but Demon's actions and a difference in opinions about how to use royal power make Viserys start thinking about his plan for who comes next. The pressure to protect the kingdom by picking a good heir, one that all the important families will support and who won't cause fights, is really heavy on Viserys. He's spent almost 10 years trying really hard to have a son who could take over after him, even though it's been tough for him personally. He wants to prevent a war after he's gone. But now he realizes he had a great choice all along, his daughter, Rhaenyra. Even though she didn't want to be queen, she's actually a good fit to lead. The episode concludes when Viserys calls all the important families to a meeting. He sits on the big iron throne and asks them to promise to follow him and his chosen successor, his daughter Rhaenyra.